righty, let's take a look at all the shots here. Oh! Oh, brutal. Bam! And drop. All right, so you sent me this one, and then you sent me this one. It's very cool. And then the revision, which to be honest, looks pretty similar. Um, I had to put it side by side to really see all the details. Uh, I'm going to go back to the other one because I actually do like the longer one. So I'm going to actually go back. Uh, and like you said, you were okay with going back to this. Um, but let's start with this shot. So overall... So there are a couple of things here. This pose seems just a bit too... Um, just too default. With the... The posing of the legs and arms are just... They don't tell me much about what the character is thinking. It really just seems more like a default pose. Is she standing guard? Is she trying to sneak in somewhere? You know, it could have... Um, it could have the gun out. And maybe she takes one more step. And then waits. And then hears something. Or she could just do one more step of patrol um she could also just have maybe she could just hold the gun but then look around so it's uh, something where it's either she is she is guarding this place or she's il infiltrating this place i'm assuming it's infiltration uh, i mean she's guarding because this happens so someone is trying to get in so something just a bit more guard like unless you have a completely different idea with her so i'm just throwing that out there something that could be a bit more clear the other thing that was kind of weird is that she almost looks at me. I'm not quite sure what that means either. So be careful when you have a character look at camera or very closely to camera. So I would just look at the acting choices for this up until here. I understand that this is a nicer silhouette, then, but at the same time, I mean, you can also have the head like this. An arrow comes in and could, could still hit her. So I don't think you have to have that head like this. The impact... Let's see here. So it comes in. Definitely has good snappiness. Be careful. This is super picky, but it's pointing. Not pointing, but it's, you know, like the... Uh, where is it here? It's hard to see to that arrow pointing this. And then here it's lower. It would have to be just a bit higher. Or you bring this guy lower, which is easier. Because then that's okay. But... I would look at potentially changing this set and just have that and maybe, you know, a lower fence that just, you know, conveniently happens to be only this high so that you can see the arrow. The sound helps, but let's pretend there's no sound. It's hard to see this and hard here. Okay, we get, okay, now we get it. So it's just that beginning is a bit, com not confusing, but it could be clearer. Let's put it this way. I don't mind her going up. She she starts having a momentum, you know, going this way given the velocity and the impact of the arrow. But then once she gets to here, bam, she stops. And just that moment of going backwards away from us, it gets a bit better here because she goes to the right. But then she stops again going back. I feel like it would be, it would be nice to have an overall movement this way so starts off this way, which is great but then as you go down here just keep going with the root the root has a constant drift everything has a constant drift going this way so that's okay but then don't forget to also kind of adjust the hip so maybe at this point the foot could be rotating off the the heel out this way and then uh just to give it a bit more you know less twin static posing here so give a bit of a change in the legs but it will adjust your hips so that you don't have that upper body um hip line here that gives you really bad kink in the model because i see a big change there in the upper body but it's just kind of a change in the root that almost seems also to go this way just make sure that everything has a momentum drive going this way so that at this point the belly button would probably be here. Like the whole character would be shifted over this way. Careful when this goes. There's a bit of a pivot off the toes, which is okay. But then here, they both move. They both move at the same time. They're kind of going up and down. They're kind of wiggly. 
and then this sliding as well it's just not very solid so make sure that pivot points and contact points are solid there that's okay i'm looking at the feet here seems fine okay definitely better i don't mind the stiffness of this given that she is dead but then if they're like this i think i would just have them drop because here it looks like she's she's actually bringing those arms up and i would just and the same thing with the body curling forward it doesn't seem like this is drag now this is her getting into this pose so i would just make sure that once you have that that stiffness oh, then it goes into once she drops this it means that the, you know the muscles are relaxing and from here on end i will go arm drops this drops just everything gets loose the head goes back this way and then it just falls back so i would just kind of reduce that curvature and it would probably then land less like that probably be more a landing like this so it's less of a buckling in but it's oh, relaxing again while the root has a constant drift over this way that's what i'm saying by the time she would be fully relaxed she might already be uh you know in this kind of pose and everything's hanging ba -ba. so that whole ending might be a bit different here pose wise again the feet are very they're very twins this seems out twins so from a top view it just seems like the character is like this in my awesome drawing so as you will adjust this i would then adjust at the end of it you know where one leg could be bent or one could be one arm could be like this and straight just get a more asymmetry and complexity in that last posing and the gun is a bit light too as it drops here like you're dropping this way on that last frame it goes over to the right which doesn't quite work and then it bounces it doesn't bounce off right away it kind of slides over this way and it feels very very light and watch out you got some intersection on the ground there so it's a bit it's a bit soft and wiggly and light not quite buying that impact point there all right that's kind of it for that one uh, going back to this uh yeah it's been a while i can barely remember the shot so uh, it looks really good some really good stuff there i think my main thing is the ending and you also mentioned that you redid it with that black and white version because of that ending and i agree there's something slightly off so i do but i do like the beginning because i like the progression how you go from the head being higher up then to going down I don't think those 18 frames are hurting you at the beginning that you cut out. There's good stuff in the scapula, like the hip bounces, the tail is good. Good changes here in the toes and the compression. This might be just a bit much, that elbow wiggle there. It's almost like a pop through there. That's a bit big, so watch out for that. A bit big. It's cool, I like how you got that curvature in there. But then there's something about right through there where I'm looking at this section that just feels slightly locked where I see changes in here. This goes up and there's changes in the body and the head turning this way. But then it feels like there's nothing going on through there where it's almost like you want, if you do that change, you want to do also a translate over this way a bit more so that it affects this section of the neck. There's just something slightly locked about that area and it's mostly this black line here. That has no rotational change so that's i'm not quite buying how that middle section is being affected by both the front and the back and i think the ending that i'm reacting to this is very post to pose as the head goes up everything goes up and kind of stops at the end but then you got to exaggerate its uh ear overlap doing that seems more almost like sim versus a creature behavior the other thing is as it goes up especially through here the orientation doesn't quite change enough so it starts to feel a bit ik with the head so i think you can go up here and have a slight sideways rotation 
that corrects itself towards the end. You could have a little bit of movement in Y that maybe it looks a bit more, the just a bit more screen right. So it's not just, it seems like straight in one axis up. Like that's what I'm reacting to. It all kind of ending at the same time. You could have something where it goes up with a slight lean on the body. And then as it finishes, the, it leans back onto this leg. So just a few more complexities towards the end there. But nice set. It's good camera move that just works following the creature. There's some nice uh, ear twitches there. And I will probably not relax that area of the shapes so far. This seems, I guess it seems like a fairly angry look. <laughs> and it works to me with that folding. But then that nose area completely relaxes. But I don't see anything in the eyes mimicking that. Uh, making, mirroring that where they are also relax. I see a little bit in the brows going up there. But not enough. I would probably keep something like an attention level and aggression there. I mean, you might argue that through there might be all benign, benign. And then here it gets angry because it, it hurts something. I don't know. There's also something about, now that I think of it, it's just going for bushes. It's not in attack mode. So the question is, when it goes, and so angry looking, is it because it hurts something? And if so, then maybe that sound comes, you know, from a different side so that it would actually be really, not that it has to be profile view. That's my profile view. Uh, <laughs> but something where there's a bit of a turn in, in Y. Actually, my question then would be, that look up, is that prompted just by, yeah, I'm done with this bush, I'm just looking up? So then you could really relax the face? Or is it because I heard something, and that's why you got that, that moment here, but then... Then I would have a bit of a change. Again, so it's not just a one-axis rotation up and a bit more this way with maybe like a slight dart at the end. So it looks up and adjusts the look. So you could do that. Just give this... That will add more complexity, a bit more realism, but gives you a bit more... Uh, what's the word? I say reasoning, but like something that happens off-screen that the creature's reacting to. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Um, if not, email me. Let me know. We can email this out for more clarification. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.